गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स वेन एवर यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टूडे वील डू चैप्टर थ्री ऑफ मोरल साइंस बुक दैट इज सींग गॉड इन द पुअर सो स्टोरी गोस लाइक दिस देर वॉज अ होली मैन उस वे ऑफ लाइफ प्लीज गॉड वेरी मच वन डे गॉड अपियर टू द मैन इन अ ड्रीम एंड सेड टुमारो आई विल कम टू योर हाउस next day he woke up early in the morning and made all the preparation for receiving god into his house then he began to wait for god's coming he could be here any time he said to himself the morning sky suddenly became cloudy and it began to rain there was no sign of it stopping God would have to come in the rain he thought after a while there was a knock at the door it's the lord he said and opened the door a woman with her child was there there were they were completely wet the holy man gave them a towel to dry themselves the woman said they had not eaten anything for two days he gave them some hot tea and food they went away the holy man kept waiting for god at noon time a half naked man in a thin torn cloth came to his house he was shivering with cold the holy man gave him a woolen blanket and some good clothes to wear he went away happily just before sunset a third guest came this time it was a sick man the good man gave him some medicine and some money to buy more medicine the man went away the holy man again waited for the arrival of god soon it was night the holy man was tired of waiting for god he gave up his hope of seeing god as his guest he thought oh god why is that you did not keep your promise how much long i have to wait to see you all at once a heavenly light filled the room and the voice was heard saying i visited you three times today but you did not recognize me first i came as a hungry person and you gave me to eat then i visited you as a half naked man and you clothed me at last i came to you as a sick man and you cared for me true service of god is the students is the service we render means we give to the poor and the needy god keeps coming to us in their forms to help people who are in want and misery is a charitable act charity is a great virtue means it is a great good quality it is an expression of love and concern for others who are in need it shows our sympathy and love towards them god is pleased with charitable persons charity is a part of every religion okay charity is a part of every religion as a virtue it develops as in us a noble side charity also implies me charity also includes sacrifice and self denial for in order to help people we want have to sacrifice a lot for our comforts but we perform an act of charity for winning fame and name okay students so we have to do charity because we want to help other people but some people don't do charity because of they want to help people because of their own self motive they do okay because of name and fame they do the charity so here he it he want to say the author wants to say that real charity is measured by 
got from the spirit behind the act. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who founded the, let's read about the Mother Teresa. So Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who founded the congregation, congregation group of, group of missionaries of charity, had dedicated her life for the poor and the destitute. Destitute means very poor people. He instituted his institution, her institution provide refuge and shelter to children, women and aged people who have been rejected by the society. Okay. She provide, her institution provides uh, refuge. Refuge means short time home to the children. Okay. People can reject children because of many things. Maybe because their skin color is not good or maybe uh, they have some disease okay maybe their body part is not uh, good means some body part is defective or they are not proper male or proper female so there can be hundred of reasons because of some parents reject their children and give to orphanage but similarly there can be many reasons why women are rejected and thrown into this orphanage. Uh, they like uh, suppose they have not no money or that woman is old and they cannot do work for herself. Similarly for aged people also same problem. So this type of people are rejected by the society as unwanted according to the mother. It is being unwanted that is the worst disease. She says that unwanted is the most uh, is the worst disease that any human being can experience. So what was her aim? Her aim was to fight the disease. Once a journalist asked her, Mother, what makes you serve a nurse patient suffering from this hateful disease like leprosy and gangrene? Students, leprosy and gangrene was most dreadful disease. Uh, I so she replies, I see Jesus inside everyone, looking firmly into the eyes of journalists. When I see a hungry person, I feel he is a hungry Jesus. I must feed him. When I see a sick person, I feel he is a sick Jesus. I must nurse him. As such, I serve them as I love my Jesus. So she, she saw her Jesus inside this dreaded and uh, the people who were rejected by the society. This was the secret of the selfless and untiring service of Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa also received Nobel Prize. She also received Bharat Ratna, highest medal honor from India and highest peace prize of the world and highest award of the America. Okay. So she has, has received the highest medal of different, different countries and, and world also. So next let's read about Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was also very moved by, moved by the misery. Misery means their their way of living okay uh, their bad way of living and suffering of his countrymen he once said I see Narayan in the poorest of the poor who is Mar Narayan Narayan is a Hindu god who is according to Hindu religion Narayan is the creator of this world creator of these creatures all the creatures of this world He's, he said the ability to see God in the poor and downtrodden people inspired him to dedicate his life for the upliftment. He also served and nursed people with dreaded disease in his ashram. So he also served these people who were rejected by the society. Like Mahatma Gandhi and Mother Teresa, we should be able to see God in every human being. So that is all the this moral of this this of this lesson. So that we must help those people, those who are rejected by the other people, by the society, especially in the poor and suffering. Service to our fellow men 
is the best service to God. We must develop the outlook of universal brotherhood and share our well-being with our unfortunate and the downtrodden brethren. So this lesson says that we must not only help these downtrodden people, we must help all the people of the world. According to us, Vasudhev Kutumbakam means universal brotherhood. We must uh, accept all the people of the world as our brother. Okay, by developing such a broad outlook on society, we are able to live up to the expectation of God, our Father. So students, I will provide you answer of the questions and uh, word meanings. You have to do true-false and uh, you have to think when you helped other people. You have to uh, comment in comment box when you helped other people and uh, in, in which people in whom you see God. And uh, in your comment box you have to tell me in whom you see God and when you helped other people. And you have to do true and false. Okay, see you next time.